guys, I didn't cheat on Sunkiss, but uh, I had to have some kind of an orange drink. So when we went to the store, they didn't have Sunkiss, so I ended up buying Fanta Orange. Tastes almost like Sunkist. Good enough. I want to see if I can bring this wall back just a little bit. I need to go up and re-secure it. Because right now this whole entire wall is hanging down. So I gotta bring it back uh, to where it's supposed to be and then we can re-support it. Uh, but let me put my hard hat on because I'll be working where it's gonna be a little bit hazardous. show you guys so. you see this gap right here this needs to go back we're gonna replace this anyways but for meantime I need this back in place See how this wall is so crooked, but it's going back. You can definitely see that the gap is becoming smaller now with uh, the vertical uh, window uh, frame. It's actually coming back to where it's supposed to be. All right. All right, so you see how it's warping out. We will actually have to pull this house this way so this warp you see how right here this is where it's supposed to be but the house is falling back that way so we'll have to bring this house back I have an idea how I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna have to put some blockers and I'm planning this is gonna be this is gonna be trial and error hopefully I don't have any error I'll need to find some nice steel tubes and I can place the tubes throughout this wall on the blocks, lift it up, set them, and uh, get myself, a, well, I have a couple of ratchets. So they're like a heavy duty ones. And I'm gonna anchor it to the fireplace or to the chimney and see if I can roll this house that way. It's gonna be a very interesting process. I have an idea, have never done this, but like I said, it's gonna be trial and error. So, but hopefully there's not gonna be no air on this project. But as you can see, this house needs to come down this way.
I'm actually just temporarily supporting this side of the logs because at this moment, because of the window, it's disconnected from the rest of the wall. So this is a temporary, a temporary support. See if we release it, what will happen? Okay. We we'll still have a sag. We we'll still have a sag because this whole entire wall still uh, somewhat falling, falling down on this side. So we still need to pick up quite a bit of it. Before we go any further uh, with this wall, what I'll need to do is I need to put some braces along that wall uh, so I can actually use that wall as an anchor because I actually need to bring this wall more inside. It's, uh, when I was picking it up, uh, it was uh, going away uh, from the foundation. Basically, it was, it was doing this. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to put some anchors, put some uh, Four by four post uh, along that wall, and put some eye hooks through the uh, through my four by four post, and use uh, use uh, like a metal cable and ratchet, and uh, start bringing it back this wall, so you can come back this way and be, and stand straight. Guys, these are big flat nails. I mean, longer. Pretty cool.
А мать? С творога. Еще назад. Go back. Took everything out. Good. One more support right here. So what I'm gonna do, once all of the support is in place, I'll use this cable and I'll stretch it across uh, inside the house uh, between my four by four post and uh, secure it uh, so when I'm lifting the wall does not continue to continue to sway out so if you're still watching this video that means you reached all the way to the end and I just want to say thank you and as you can tell we are on vacation again if you haven't subscribed well listen this is the best time to do it because well you just watched the entire video. As you know, we're trying to actually reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers by end of this year. And without you, we cannot do it. So please help us out, share this content, and I will see you on the next video.